I mean, global finance needs the network of global cities, but global finance has other spaces as well, electronic trading platforms, etc. that, you know, the, its urban moment is extremely important politically to grab it and to say, okay, here, here in the city is where you abstract, mostly electronic, very private, very unapproachable, this zone of global finance is a zone where no trafficker can take you into. You can't become an undocumented migrant. You know, it is totally closed. But when it hits the city, it becomes concrete, it becomes people, men and women, who want it all and get it all, and in that getting, materialize themselves in a reinvented urban uh, built environment, you know, the urban glamour zone, as I've often called it. So that is a very strategic moment for us because it is a strategic moment for global finance because that is a moment when we can engage it, that is a moment when we can study it, when we can detect its leaden feet. It's not all mobile. It actually needs this territorial moment. It is its vulnerable moment. That's where we discover, that's where we take them to court when they have abused, you know, the burn, I mean, some of these issues that the Société Générale manages. So the city is a very concrete space where everything becomes a bit more concrete than maybe its generic condition might be. So these are some of the sort of the, the issues that make, you know, this is one way of illustrating that even for a very powerful, in itself not urban process, project, industry, sector, actor, the urban moment is a significant moment. Because I am certain that if they could avoid the urban moment, they would. Because the urban moment is where they do become vulnerable.